Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Casually. I'm sure you must have heard about a, a framework called Flask, which is in Python. Most of the people nowadays use Django, but I'm sure that there is a good community out there who still uses uh, Flask. So there's a very important concept uh, when you're making web applications or when you're making websites uh, using Flask or basically a micro framework, you would still need information which is going to come through the URL. And I'm, yes, I'm talking about parameters. So I'm sure that most of you know about it, but if you don't know about it, you've come to the right video. We would be doing this uh, using a live example. We'll be coding on Visual Studio Code, and then I'll be explaining you how you can cull that information out using the parameters which are there in the URL. So let's hop onto the laptop and let's start. All right, so we are on Visual Studio Code. I have already installed uh, Flask on my system. What you can do here is to verify whether you have it or not. And what you can do here is you can write uh, CMD um, by pressing Window R and the command prompt will open. You can write pip install Flask and see whether it's installed for you or not. For me, it is, so no issues. So what we can do here is from uh, when when we are trying to code on it, um, I've already opened a file called flaskparameters.py. It's it's uh, empty, and we'll start filling it up. So we will write from flask import flask, and we would also import request, which is from flask import request. Okay, so in order to make sure that your app is live, what you need to do here is you need to define the app. You can write flask and then underscore and then name in it. Okay, so now in order to sh make sure that it runs well, what we can do is if uh, underscore underscore name equals to main, what we will do, we will write app.run. And this is how a Flask default application is made without any configuration, nothing else. So what we were supposed to do here is we were supposed to call out the information using the URL. Um, before that, we have to define a home page and a route. So what we can do here is we can write app.route and then start writing a dash. So this states that, you know, there's, there's a home page that we are trying to uh, make which is basically a default uh, landing and now in order to make sure that it works we will write main home and then write return hello this is the home page so a default setting is up and running what we can do here is uh, let's start the app and let's see whether it works or not it gives me a URL. I'll press Control and click, and I'll see that yes, this indeed calls out. Basically, gives me the output that I was supposed to get. So now, in order to get uh, the information out, there are two things you can do. Uh, this one is a fairly easy one. Uh, what you can do is write you can write name here, and then you can give it plus or convert the same, and then write name. Um, this might work for you, but but this is the one that I don't I usually hop onto. I don't like it. Um, you can write L A K S H Y, and then it doesn't work at all. So this is the method that you should not hop onto um, because I I personally don't like it. What I like here is you can simply go here and write methods, and then define a get method, which is get. I'm sure that I must have done something wrong in the previous example that I tried to showcase, but again, I don't trust that and don't like that as well. So that is why. Okay, we have to push in a comma here, and now what we can do is we can import or rather get the username that we require, and for that we will write request dot get. Oh, sorry, we'll write arguments dot get. And then we'll try to get the username. Uh, this is fairly simple. And now, in order to check whether it works for us or not, we will convert the same into string and write username and then control and save and then restart the server. And let's see, go back onto it, remove this, press enter, it works. And now, what we can do is we can. I might 
username uh, and it could be an SHGY. A no apostrophe is needed and see it works well. Of course my spelling is wrong but you get what exactly I'm trying to do here. So this is how you pull that information out. Uh, suppose you wish to call out two parameters not one. So in order to do that I'll hop on to the Visual Studio Code back again and then we'll write password. I will try to write password here and then do request and then arguments back again and then get method. What do we need to pull out? Suppose we need to pull out age. Okay and then do a restart and do another one rather I would write this is my age and do another concatenate and then write password uh, basically it's not password it's age and control save it back again control copy back again and then we will try to run the same so the moment it runs back again uh, we go here and see username is there but the age is not there so how you can do it you can write ampersand here and then write age equals to 12 and it still doesn't work because I guess we have given a space here right so it gives me but you would see that there is no space in between we can of course correct the same by just giving a space here and do a restart do a refresh and you'll see that yes indeed you can call that information out using the arguments one which is the get method so of course this is not the right way this um, most of the time you will be using tokenization and everything but still this is a very basic uh, way to call that information out the arguments out uh, the parameters out uh, and this is how you can draft that application of course when you would be creating login pages or when you would be creating some models or when you would be creating some complex microservices you would use it in a different way altogether but I'm sure that you'll be able to find your way out this is just a principle or like a very base of it good luck for your next projects uh, please uh, put in comments if you want me to elaborate further or would you want me to create a login page or or give you a practical example of culling information out using the arguments and please like the video, share the video amongst peers. Thank you.